Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing the most fundamental thing in data science like what is the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and data science. I'm just going to write it as DS, that is data science. Now guys, I probably think in my YouTube video, I had to upload this particular video as first. But you know, I just went with the flow. I missed about this particular topic because many of you still have various confusion regarding it. So in this particular video, I'm going to clear a confusion and I'm going to tell you what exactly is artificial intelligence, what exactly is machine learning, what exactly is deep learning, and how do we use data science considering all this particular technology and work. So let us go ahead and let us just think. I'm also going to create some Venn diagrams. So let me consider that this is my Venn diagram of AI and the main work of AI. You have heard of AI applications, you have heard of AI engineers kind of positions. So AI basically helps us to, it enables the computer or machine, it enables the machine to think. It enables the machine to think. That basically means without any human intervention, the machine will be able to take its own decision. And always remember guys, whatever I'm talking about over here with respect to AI, right? This is the final goal. You are basically creating an AI application, a self-driving car, that is an AI application. Uh, uh, app which actually uses machine learning and deep learning within them is basically an AI application. It does some kind of task. So finally, this is my final goal. I have to reach over here and create an AI app. Okay. Now when I talk about machine learning, machine learning is a subset of AI. Okay. So machine learning is a subset of AI. And what does machine learning help us to do? It provides us statistical tools statistical tools to explore the data to explore the data simple definition guys it provides us some statistical tools to explore and understand about that particular data now when i talk about machine learning in machine learning you have three different approaches one is supervised machine learning i'll also discuss about what exactly is supervised okay so the second technique is something called as unsupervised machine learning. The third technique is something called as reinforcement, reinforcement learning, or this is also called as semi-supervised machine learning. Okay, I, I can write it as semi-supervised. So this techniques of machine learning is basically ranging in this. Let me give you a very good example of supervised. So in case of supervised, we'll be having some labeled data, you know, some past data. And with the help of this kind of data, we'll be actually able to do the prediction for the future. Let me just take a very good example. Suppose based on, I have two features in my data set like age. I have, I have not age. Let me just consider that I have height and weight as my two features and I want to classify whether that person will, uh, is belonging to an obese category or whether it belongs to the fit category. Right. So this kind of data initially whenever I'm making my model at that time I'll have this data in hand previously only and what I'll do I'll create a model train on that data and with the help of those kind of data I'll be actually creating a supervised machine learning model that basically means in case of supervised we have past data past labeled data okay we know what will be the output of this particular data now in the second category when i talk about unsupervised machine learning here i'll not be having any labeled data that basically means in my data set i will not know what is the output so in unsupervised machine learning we usually solve clustering kind of problems clustering you know there are different different clustering techniques like k-means clustering, hierarchical mean clusterings. So in unsupervised machine learning, we will actually be solving clustering techniques. And when I say clustering, what exactly it does is that based on the similarity of the data, it will try to group that data together. And there is some mathematical concepts like Euclidean distance actually used inside that with apart with uh, some other techniques also. So most probably here are two different algorithms or three different alg algorithms. One is K-means clustering, hierarchical mean clustering, DB scan clustering. These are the three popular clustering algorithms that we basically used in unsupervised machine learning. 
Now, in case of reinforcement learning, what will happen is that some part of your data will be labeled and later on some part of the data will not be labeled. So the computer or the machine learning model learns slowly by seeing the past data and it will be learning as soon as the new environment, new, new data will be coming up. So I hope you understood this. That is what we are actually doing over here. The most important part is that we need to have data. It also, it also provides some statistical tools to analyze, explore and analyze the data. Okay. And this is the three different techniques that we basically have in machine learning. The last, the, the, the third part, which is my deep learning is again a subset of machine learning. Now, why did deep learning get, got created, you know? So what scientists thought is that, can we make the machine learn like how we, with the help of human brain, actually try to learn things, you know? That was the main idea behind deep learning. So over here in deep learning, you create architecture, which is called as multi-neural network architecture multi-neural network architecture so at the end of the day we are basically using multi-neural network architecture and we are actually creating some deep learning neural networks the main idea behind deep learning is to mimic human brain you know how human actually learns those concepts similarly we are creating models over here which is learning those things and the most important thing is multi-neural network architecture right and in deep learning also you have various techniques one is ann that is artificial neural network the second one is cnn that is convolution neural network and the third one is rnn which is called as recurrent neural network most of the problem statements, most of the data which is actually present in the form of numbers will be solved with the help of ANN, you know, artificial neural network. Suppose our input is in the form of images, we will basically use CNN, that is convolution neural network. And suppose if our input is in the form of time series kind of data, at that time we'll be using recurrent neural network. Apart from this, there are also techniques like transfer learning. You know, there are some advanced neural networks, extension of the CNN, advanced CNN. So uh, suppose if I take an example of mask RCNN, right? So these are some advanced uh, neural network architecture, which where the base is actually a CNN architecture. So you should try to understand this. First of all, I am actually using this concepts of machine learning and deep learning. And the main goal is to derive an AI application, you know? By using this particular techniques, I want to I want to create a model which will be I want to create a self-driving car. So that is self-driving car may be an AI application. OK, now the question arises, where does data science fit into this? Right now, data science is a technique which try to apply all this particular part. I mean, all these techniques that is basically machine learning, deep learning. And apart from that, it also uses some tools, some 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 uh, mathematical tools like statistics you know, probability, linear algebra, linear algebra, a whole lot of different, different maths like differential calculus and all, right? And that is what this is basically my DS, that is data science. So a data scientist will have to work on ML, DL based on the type of use case by using some mathematical tools like statistics, probability, linear algebra and many more. Okay, and he may work in this three kind of machine learning, he may work in this three kind of deep learning techniques, right? And this is the basic difference between an AI, ML, DL and a data science. You have whole lot of these things that you basically learn when you want to become a data scientist. Isn't it amazing, right? Because I have actually worked in each and everything, each and every part of this all the techniques that I have actually written down over here. And I've created some very good AI application. Some of the recommendation systems, super cool recommendation systems I've actually created, you know? And uh, if I go and use this RNN, I've actually worked on time series sales data with the help of RNN architecture. I have extensively worked on CNNs, you know, where my inputs are in the form of images, live feeds, you know, videos and all this particular technique. So yes, uh, this was all about this particular video. I hope you understood this particular video uh, that we discussed that what is the basic difference between AI, ML, DL, data science. Please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed and please share with all your friends whoever require this kind of help. And yes, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.